And you know what I'm talking about. Just let me know if you want to go to that home out on the range. They got a lot of nice girls. Huh? Welcome to Sports Vision, the magazine show. I am Joe Palo, and this is my friend Mike Cragen. How you doing, buddy? Huh? Pretty good. Huh? What, are you what are you doing out? Huh? I got out. They let me out. I've been going through treatment, and I get to get out every once in a while, I like to do the show and stuff like that. That's why they let me out right now. And what is this? Huh? This is that's Frisco, and this is Fajita. You got the football. I got the football. I got the football, and you got Frisco. Frisco. San Fran. San Fran. Hey, buddy. Say, let me ask you a question. How did I get, what happened with me? What happened with you? What's up with all that? I'll show you what happened with me. All right, show me. You're not gonna believe it. I'm not gonna believe it, I can tell. I, I can already tell. I was actually run over by a tank. No, oh, a yes, tank. Yes, I was. And you're here. Yep. How did, how, 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 how did the tank run you This over? is exactly what happened. Right here. Right here? Right here. Like this? Come, oh, me. oh, help me. Is that exactly what happened? That's exactly what happened. And so your head my head off. stayed on. Well, let me ask you another question. Is this to scale? Were you as big as that tank? That's just about right. Oh you don't my believe God. that, do you? I, I can't believe I'm that. Serious. I can't believe that. I I'm can't serious. believe that. Well, listen, I didn't expect huh? you to be here. I thought it was going to be my yeah, show yeah, like yeah, last yeah, week. Yeah, you were yeah, taking Fooled you. Fooled you. You're crazy. Fooled you. All right. Fooled you. But today, we have lots Speak to cover. Go. We're going to have yeah. Field Day, yeah. Oak Grove Elementary. All right. Okay, I'm ready. We're going to have. Softball, the I'm McDonald's ready. Classic. I'm ready. Heffington and, the, and the, all I'm the ready. kids in McDonald's Classic. We're going to have baseball. I'm ready. Hopewell and Industrial Park. Good. And we're going to have Charleston football. We had spring football last week yep. with the other two schools. Killer. And we are going to have the high school track packages. Good. With all our great athletes in high school state that did such a fine job. So let's go straight to package number one, which was field day at Oak Grove School and some baseball. There they are hula hooping. We found some people that could do that up on the street the other day, didn't we? We did. Not that good. Not at well, you especially. You huh? tried to do it on a show that one time. I can do it now, Mike. I can do it. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I can stand on my head and do it now. They got a softball throw. There's Tommy again. Look at these guys. These guys are these guys are doing a little showboat for the camera. Huh? Slapping himself in the face. Look at that, huh? You look like you're hurting. I, I am hurting. My back is just stiff. Too. Is it? Oh, yes. That's tough. Okay, oh. they ha they're going to have the softball throw. There's some ladies All from right. Oak Grove. Better arm than you have. What a throw. There it is. What a throw. And have another one up here. Yeah, I get to throw balls like that at the uh, at the place I'm staying. Here's one of the guys. I get to throw them around like that. I don't like understand that. how you're out. I've got through treatment, 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 treatment. They let me out every once in a while. Yeah. Did I say treatment three or four times there? I only heard it once. No. All right, there's, uh, there's now the 50-yard dash girls. Look at that. And they're moving. They are moving. They're faster than you. And they're faster than you. There is. And it's a greeting from the Oak Grove Elementary. And I think we are now headed to. I think I see your mother in there again. Huh? I love that lady. Well, she puts you where you are. Huh? She puts you where you are. I love her. There it is. Tomboys versus the Little Angels. McDonald's classic softball. And that was Lauren McDaniel singling for the Tomboys. And Carly Weiss will follow that with a single for the Tomboys. And here we come with Madison Aiken. Pretty hair. She singles the runner on over to third. And next will be Heather Castile. Gonna hit the ball back to the pitcher. There's a play at home, but the will score. Safe. Morgan Aiken will hit it back to the pitcher. And look at this pitcher. Look at her hustle. She's gonna make the tag before the runner can score. However, the Tomboys did go on and did win that game. Now on to the Slammers versus the Lady Sluggers. And that was Heather Frederick of the Slammers. Singles with two people on base. Play at third. Wild throw. The run will come home. Heather will make it all the way to second base. Is that a yellow ball? Michelle Price. She's going to nail a single here in just a moment. As soon as we get back on camera. There she is. That's a Michelle yellow ball. Price singles the run in for the Slammers. And Susan Smith is going to put a line shot here, driving home a run. There it is. 
And then we're on to Sarah Nicholson will follow Susan Smith. She'll hit a line to shortstop after the run scores. Okay. Why is it a yellow ball? Here's Laura Nicholson. Line drive to the shortstop. Unable to make the play at second. Nice pickup, but oh, couldn't hang on to it. And we're going to move on to the lady sluggers at the bat. I want you answer. Aaron Riley. I want you answer. Number 52 with a shot up the middle. How come it's a yellow ball? She's going to make it there. Ariel Seaborn singles. Riley on to second base. So they got two men on, nobody out. Larissa, Larissa Lewis. Hey, Mike. Yes. Why is the ball yellow? It's white there. Grounds to third. The play is not made. Everybody's going to be safe. Look at it over here. The crowd, the moms, there. the game is on the line. We're in the last inning here. Two runs down. How do you know those are moms? Heather Fennell. Look at this. She's going to clean the bases. And this is going to win the ball game for the Sluggers. Look at that. Ball gets by the outfielders. Three runs are going to score. They were down to two going into that hit. Why was that one ball yellow? Here it is. There's one run, and that's enough to win the game. Umpire stops it. And watch these people. I want to see, watch you see this handshake. All right. I mean, they're little league kids, they're boys all hustle. Watch this. These yeah. girls run. They run to greet each other. Do you ever think Glenn Spain and Wally would run to greet? <laughs> not like that and not that fast. There we go. There it is. No, they need a one to move that fast. All right. Heath, maybe. So, why was the ball yellow? We're back to us. We are back. Everybody hey. off camera is pointing, and well, why I don't know. They want to know why it was oh. a yellow ball. The, Joe, you're still in the asylum. I saw that's nothing but I, white. I'm balls. not in there. I'm nothing, not in there. I'm not in there. Nothing but white ball. Does your neck hurt? I don't understand where you, how you're here. Huh? How are you here? Because I got treatment. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I come out. I got. I got out to do the show. You Aren't you treatment. excited? You need more treatment. Huh? You need more treatment. And let's give the fans you excited. Some we got some, I brought the ball. We got some baseball. The Hopewell baseball. We've got the Dodgers versus the Red Sox. And here we go. Let's take a look at that now. There it is. Andrew Herod slams a home run. Logan Watson and Bill Clayton will try to round the bases and greet the slugger here in just a moment as he rounds third. And the rest of the team's going to come out. And Andrew Herod. I like those uniforms. Boston Red Sox uniforms looking sharp. I like those. Great job. DJ Green's going to drill one to, to the gap here right after the team gets back into the dugout. Score? There it is. DJ Green in the gap for a long single. That thing went to the fence. He got a single out of it. He'll get the second on a wild pitch. He's going to steal third. You're not going to see all that right now. But he'll score on Ben Garcia's single up the middle. That's completes the run. And Garcia. He's going to go ahead and steal second base in just a moment. That was a good hustle. And he'll get the third on Brandon White on Varner's single. There's Varner's single. Garcia on the third. And, but the Red Sox threat would end right there. And now back to the Dodgers side of the plate with one out. Stanton would walk. And Burns, not any relation to, uh, not to call me Larry. Oh, Larry, that's right. Would single him to second. Burns is going to single me second here. Why are their shirts blue? Oh, the Dodgers. Dodgers blue. There it is. Burns is going to single in the second. Pass ball. We'll set up second and third. Just a minute here. And the threat would end there. And now we move on to the four, five, and six. Hopewell Diamondbacks. That's Alex Morrow singling for the Diamondbacks. Not to be confused with two. Not to be confused with Jonathan Morrow. Oh. There it is. Huh? Look at this little kid. I had to get this guy on. Look at this guy. Look at that. He's in the game. He's got the glove on the wrong hand, throwing the ball back underhand. And he's going to sit back there for a little bit. Take a break. Got a rest yeah, a little bit. I understand. Have a great time. Like that. Yeah, that, that sort of looks like you. Doesn't it? I feel like that. Like yesterday night. I feel like that. Did your back hurt too? I'm sorry yeah. about that. Whatever happened. Here's Cawthorn for the Braves. Run, run, run. And going to get a single. There he goes. Of course, this is uh, at Hopewell. Yep. Megan Webb, left-handed, slaps a single. Not to be confused with Webb right. Not to be confused with Webb. And followed by Haley Wiseman with a single. Not to be confused with Haley's Comet. 
No comment. Now, Kobe Garen drives home two runs. Or hips. And now we're on to industrial after they shake hands there. Good Hopewell action, four, five, and six Diamondbacks, Yankees game. Good sportsmanship. We're going to an industrial park, and this is the Yankees versus the Braves. And going to have a pass ball here. But the catcher is going to come back. Comes. Brandon Look Bennett. Look at that hustle. Bang. Brandon Bennett. And he's got him before he gets home. Hustle. Nice hustle by Brandon Bennett. Joe Oates is going to get up here for the Braves. Not to be confused with Joe Palo. It's a walk. And he's going to steal second. The pass ball is going to get it to third momentarily. And we're going to have a throw here in just a minute. It's going to score him. Huh? There it is. A wild pitch. He's going to throw to third. Oop. Bad throw. And the guy's going to make it all the way home. Okay. That's what happens when you throw like that. That ain't good. And here it comes. Say ain't. Here comes Gabriel Beeler. And Gabriel Beeler's going to double with one out. I'm hungry, Mike. I usually get a meal right now. He already doubled. Okay, there it is. Gabriel. We get a meal. <laughs> Easy for me to say. March 1, Jarrett would ground the first inning dealer to third. He'd try to score, but he'd get cut down at the end. The Yankees are saying one run and we win. It's at the bottom of the inning. And, but the Yankees are going to get shut down. There we go. That was Britt Murray pitching. Shut him off. And Marshawn Wells, number seven there, plays football for me. I'm recruiting you, Marshawn. I need you back here this year in the 10 11 league. Oh, so you do that the 10 year old, he's going to triple. Look at him motor. And the Braves. They're going to score. It's going to pay off. It's a bad pitch outside, and Marshawn on his horse. Big guy can fly for, for as big as he is, and that would be the difference. And the Braves go on to win. Here we are. We're now to the Indians. That's Brandon Brown, big number 13. Big guy with the Indians. Indians are playing the Yankees, Royals team. And uh, now we're back over to the Yankees side of the plate, and uh, that is a hit for... The Yankees. The Yankees. Actually, Lee gets that single. We're moving on. That's all we had on that. Look at this umpire. He got a little, wanted a little air time, so we gave it to him. You're hoping he done next time for you, huh? And here it is. After that little little bit that he gave to us, watch this. He's just right. about going to be hit by a foul tip. Had to put it on there. Stuck his chin out. Watch this. Ooh. Close. Close. All right. Uh, and that's it. I almost fell asleep oh, there for a minute. And speaking of baseball, there was, was there a game last night? There was, uh, there was, I don't know, I didn't, I, I don't know. There was a game last night. I thought I think. you were there. There was a game last night. The Reds and the Mets, matter of fact, played one and a half. Tried yeah, to play they did. two. They did. Tried to play two. They did. We don't have the standings for you this week, but we still must say the Phillies remain on top. The Phillies, Phillies lost last night. The Phillies are looking good, though. They're looking good. They're they looking remain good. on top because I'm looking good. the Reds, my team, the Reds beat or your you team. you own that team? The Mets. You own that team? One to nothing. Huh? Do you own One that team? Do you own that team? Jonathan Cope, Do you, own that team? you know why? Because we were using a yellow ball last night. No, it wasn't yellow. That's all in your mind. Huh? Reds versus Mets continues because that other game went on and on right. and on and we're on. Good. Five more innings. On. 11 innings the in that game ball that game. doesn't end. And the rest of the league, we'll have to show you next week. Standings weren't updated. Everybody was rained out, and we're raining our way right to a commercial break. You think so, huh? I think so. That's where we're going. People from all walks of life have discovered that Check into Cash offers a simple solution to one of life's most difficult situations. It happens when an unexpected expense arises and it's just before payday. At Check into Cash, you write us a personal check and you get the cash you need instantly. We'll hold your check up to 14 days. You can be in and out within minutes. The next time you need quick cash for whatever reason, go to Check into Cash. It's quick, easy, and confidential. Call toll-free 1-877-262-CASH for a Check into Cash store near you. 
The employees of Duracell's three area facilities would like to give hearty congratulations to our three area high schools for excellence in academics and athletics. Charleston High School, Cleveland High School, and Bradley Central High School. Keep up the good work, students. We are proud of you. From your local Duracell facilities, Mouse Creek, Tasso, and the Corporate Distribution Center and Warehouse. At Duracell, our people are our energy. There's a bank in Bradley County that's made up of familiar faces. One that offers a wide array of services and the latest technology while providing an unusually high degree of personal attention. A bank that's consistently been ranked among the very best in the nation. One that isn't just a branch of some mega bank, but's locally owned. A bank that understands our community and takes the time to get to know its customers. Who is this bank? Bank of Cleveland, of course. It's the way banking should be. Quality Machining Services, located in Cleveland, services our local industries and businesses. Quality Machining employs skilled craftsmen. That is the key to Quality Machining's operation. Get your plant back up and running as quickly as possible with Quality Machining Services. You can count on quality because quality counts. Phone 472-0140. That's the best one right there. Let's see, the five bucks chip might buy my phone back. <laughs> this is the phone right out of his house. <laughs> you can't hear. I've got it. Taken right out of their house. Now they're not gonna, nobody can ever call again. That's it. All right, can anybody beat Bunch? I, I mean, I. <laughs> can anybody beat Bunch? Hi, is this our last one? Hey, hey, we're back. We're back. And we got a special guest. We got a special guest. Is that Dr. Vinnie Gubach? No. Oh. She's probably very, very angry with me to be on here, but I couldn't let it pass up. This lovely lady is my wife, Denise, mother oh, of our... Oh, stop lying. It is. Mother of our three children, housewife, work wife. Right. Backbone of this Camera show. person. Back, I was going to say. Backbone. And she's got to help me with my backbone. Your better half. My better half. Everything easily. else you can say? Easily. My no. better half. And, and what is special? Her yeah. birthday is tomorrow, Friday, June 2nd. If you watch this Sunday, it was two days ago. No kidding. Friday, June 2nd, it is it's her birthday. And she turns 24, She five? turns 24 reversed. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> okay, so I didn't tell your age. I didn't tell your age. I'm celebrating. Celebrating. I'm there celebrating you go. My age. Celebrating her age. <laughs> well, you know what This is the means. gal at the camera. This is the gal that does, uh, keeps everything all together. All the work. All keeps the us work. together. This is her first birthday while we're having a show. Right. I have to give her all credit in the world. Love her very much. I'm gonna let her leave because she's very nervous. Well, no, no, no. We gotta, we gotta do. We gotta. You gotta sing. Happy birthday oh. to her. And the son Michael in the crowd here watching, and his girlfriend. Everybody, come join in. Ready? Quick. We sing. Ready? Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy birthday to you. Sing up, kids. Happy, Happy birthday, dear Denise. Lindsay Preston singing too. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Yay! And Fajita says happy birthday. Oh, give me that little red parrot down there. Hey, yeah, Frisco. So, it's, are we on? Are we on? Sure we're on. Are we on? Sure we're on. Of course on. we're on. Oh, we're now on. we got the parrots ancient. Frisco? No, 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 here we go, Excuse here we go. One last thing. Get him, Fajita. I know. Happy birthday, Denise. Happy birthday, Denise. Happy birthday, Denise. How come okay. that bird is barking? Happy birthday, Denise. Why is that bird barking? All right, on with the show. Here we go. Let's get back to the series. Speak, stuff. Frisco. Last week, we showed all kinds of football. <laughs> Shut it off. All kinds of football last week, and we are going to head to Charleston football. It was their turn. John don't mind me. I'll just be here with the dogs. All right. Last year's action. John Lovegood, take it away. Yeah, we don't put up with you nothing. You can add the Charleston Panthers to the list of area teams with high expectations. Coming out of spring practice, Coach John Lovingood's squad is coming off of an impressive 7-5 and five outing, which saw the Panthers get to the second round of the state playoffs. Now with spring practice over, Coach Lovingood says his team accomplished their goal of installing new offensive and defensive schemes. 
we did this spring is basically is we put a new offense and defense in. We've got some personnel now with, uh, I guess, depth at running back that's going to allow us to go to a different offense uh, that we've been wanting to do for quite a while, and we adjusted our defense to a little more quickness. And so basically what we did this spring is we taught. We got after it pretty hard, but, uh, you know, spring practice, I guess, I talked to an older coach this summer or this fall, and, uh, and what he said, it's a necessary evil. It's one of those things that uh, we don't always enjoy doing. Doing, but if we don't and somebody else does and they beat us, well, then we get it probably thrown back on us. We don't, we don't really enjoy it. What you're doing, uh, it, it, we don't enjoy it as far as there's nothing really to look forward to the Friday night. Uh, we had one scrimmage against Sweetwater, but uh, you know, other than that, we I think we accomplished our goal. Panther fans used to seeing Charleston wing their way down the field. We'll still see them throw the ball this season. But now Coach Loving Good feels that they have enough in the backfield to give some serious run support. We've got a quarterback that's been starting out for three years, and he's going to throw the football. There's no doubt about that. People know it. Uh, he, he does a great job. Uh, what we're going to do is try to give him a little more run support, running a double wing, a lot of misdirection. Uh, and it, probably the first time we feel like we've had quickness enough in the backfield to execute it and quickness up front. We've always been a little bigger. Now we're probably a little smaller, a little quicker, and so we're going to try to do that. Uh, and, and still, Tyler's going to throw the football, and hopefully, hopefully he won't have to carry all the burden himself. Uh, we'll give him some help. Uh, as we have in the past, and, uh, and defensively, we switched to a 4 3 basically to stop perimeter run because uh, there's some teams that are pretty fast in our league, and so we're, we're doing some things to stop the perimeter run. Coming out of the spring, Coach Loving Good sees an older, more mature squad, but feels that experience along the offensive and defensive lines might be a problem. Well, strengths should be our age. You know, we've got right now 16 seniors on the roster. Uh, we've got another 10 juniors for a single-A program. That's quite a bit. Um, so our age and maturity should be a strength for us. Our, run, our backfield should be a strength. They're all back from last year. We lost one, uh, one good skill position, uh, and that was Matt Bryson. We're going to miss him a lot. Uh, we lost a good tight end in John Gardner. Other than that, skill-wise, we didn't lose anybody. We got our running backs back, got our quarterbacks back, uh, and so that should be a, a positive force. Well, offensive line is going to be uh, something we're going to have to work on. Offense, defensive line, we lost all of them. Uh, you know, both both ends we lost, both tackles we lost, uh, lost both inside linebackers. So those are going to be tough to replace. One was the first team All-Stater and the other one led the Tri-State area in tackles. So, you know, our experience should be good, but our, uh, you know, we don't, there's some positions that we've just got a lot of improvement to do. We've got to find some people to replace uh, those linemen. And hopefully we, uh, we went a long way to doing that this spring. So while expectations are high for the Charleston Panthers going into the fall, they play in one of the toughest regions in the state, so there will be no cakewalks on this schedule. As far as challenge is concerned, every Friday night is a challenge for us. Uh, we don't play anybody easy. We open up a pole can, they've got a new coach, new system. Uh, actually, it's a new coach who used to play there, and he brought back uh, his dad, Larry Davis. Derek Davis is a new head coach there. Brought back Larry Davis, who's, who coached there for 20 years, and Ben Bright, who was his assistant. And uh, I just found out the other day that the coach told me they're a lot better. So they'll be tough. I guarantee they'll be physical. Uh, then we get to entertain the defending state champions here on our, our home turf. And then obviously South Pittsburgh's very good. Uh, Talent-wise, single A, this is probably the best region top to bottom in the state. We've got Boyd Buchanan, which is not going to get any worse. They'll be probably a little better than they were last year. And as I said before, the only teams they lost to last year, the only team they lost to was South Pittsburgh. Uh, we play a Sequoia team that returns 23 seniors this year that went 11 and 2 or 12 and 2 last year, so they'll be very good. Uh, we play a Huntland team that uh, that went to the quarterfinals last year, so you know it's it's not an easy road for us. It's tough in our region, top to bottom. We look for Lookout Valley, the fast. They were the fastest team in our region last year, and I would say that their coaches worked on getting those linemen a little bit better, so uh, they'll be awful tough. So it's it'll be a challenge for us every Friday night. Hey. Yeah, we, we got to thank our buddy Webb Wright, our sports director, our sports director. Webb yeah, Wright, that. what a wonderful some, guy, huh? Some twitches, huh? huh? Hey, is your back still hurt? Yes, it still hurts. Is your back still hurt bad? Your neck? It hurts I'm quite a bit. I'm sorry you about that. I'm sorry about that. You get run over by a tank? Huh? Your back? Tank? Hurts. Ooh, sorry about that. Your back? Get... Sorry about that. Okay, here we go with. Sorry, oh, wait hurt. a minute. Wait a minute. Sorry, you hurt.
Red. Sorry, you're hurt. Reds beat the Mets. Sorry, you're hurt. Ah. Reds beat the Mets. See? Yeah, you're Reds beat the Mets. You're gonna say it. You're gonna say it. One to nothing. You're gonna say it. One to nothing. You're gonna say it. You're gonna say it. You're gonna say it. Okay. Hey, come on, that thing there, please. Comment quickly on Charleston football. What did that season last year? Hey, wonderful. And I'm ready for them again this year. Coach John Lovengood's going to do a great job. Doesn't he look awful young in that picture? Doesn't he, look like he, he sure does. He sure does. Mrs. Day Lovengood over. would be not, Ma Lovengood. Mama Lovengood, That's right. Yes. We know about Mama Lovengood. We love okay. that lady. Track. Track athletes in this, track. In this city track. right here. Cleveland. Track. Markel Ellison. Uh, Garnett Holloway. Yeah. For Bradley. Yeah. Michael Porter. Lauren Tyree. All, all of them good. All did great Speak, job. Speak, Frisco. Lauren Tyree and Harlow Holloway, former Athletes of the Week. Let's take a look at how they did in the state. Great job, those four. For four local athletes, all the months of training and hard work paid off this weekend with trips to the state track meet at the Girls Preparatory School in Chattanooga. This weekend's meet brought the best athletes from across Tennessee to compete for state titles in various track and field events. Friday, the girls took to the track, among them Cleveland High School's super sophomore Garnett Holloway. Holloway placed fifth in the triple jump and sixth in the long jump before running the 100-meter dash. Cleveland track coach Casey Price believes that Garnett's exceptional work ethic has been the key to her success. To have an athlete like Garnett uh, is truly a blessing. She is uh, multi-talented. Uh, she's a very dedicated worker. Uh, always somebody that will stay after practice and ask if she can work on this or she can work on that, uh, which adds to her credibility. Uh, she gives 110% every practice. Uh, if she feels like she has it, she'll come back and offer us more. But she is a once in a lifetime athlete and she makes everybody else better. And uh, you know, I would love to have you know, 10 other girls like her, but the bad thing is I've got one. But uh, she's uh, done well under the circumstances that we have, uh, having an asphalt track, which does make a difference training-wise. But she's been, uh, she's been exceptional this year. To the 100-meter dash now, Holloway getting a slow start off of the block. She's going to try to pull back within range of the leaders, but not enough time to do so. Perhaps a personal disappointment for Holloway, but a good showing nonetheless. Garnett Holloway finishes seventh in the state in the 100-meter dash. Bradley Central standout junior Lauren Tyree also in competition, finishing an impressive fourth in the 3,200 meter run. Also running in the 1,600 meter run, Tyree would take a nasty spill early in the race, but would get back up and continue trying to gut it out, looking for a high finish, but it's obvious Tyree in a lot of pain, but continuing the race nonetheless, she showed a lot of courage in this one and makes her move in the back stretch, looking to get back into contention. She's gonna pass a couple of runners on the back stretch, but would it be enough for Lauren Tyree? Unfortunately, she would have some problems in the final turn. Another near stumble and fall right here costs her a position, but Lauren Tyree continues to show a lot of courage as she finishes the race in some pain. Lauren Tyree would finish eight in the 1600 meter run. It's just tough luck. You know, I, I, I was real proud that she got up and finished the race and did as well as she did do under the circumstances. I felt like that she would probably have been in, in the top two or three had that not happened to her. It's tough luck. But at least she has another year to come back and, and make amends for that situation, but that could have happened to anybody any time. And so I'm real proud of her, and, and I think things will be better down the road. She has another year, like I say, and, and I think things will be different the next time she runs. To the boys meet now, and Bradley Central's Michael Porter, after finishing third in the state decathlon earlier this week, competed in the triple jump, squaring off against state record holder Kevin Yeager of Farragut, who breaks his own state mark there with a jump of 47 feet, 11 inches, so Michael Porter knows he needs the jump of his life, and he gets it. A new Bradley Central High School record, 46 feet, two and a half inches, but it's not enough to beat the state champion, Kevin Yeager of Farragut. Michael Porter would end up finishing third in the triple jump. I feel strong that I did finish third. Um, I was looking forward to what me and Jaeger could do. Um, the guy that got second place, um, he kind of being a surprise and jumped out there with us, but um, I feel good about everything that everybody did. 
Um, yeah, third was a not bad job, especially with my new school record, which was a 45-8, but now it's a 46-2, which I jumped today. And I'm just looking for improvement from day to day, and pretty proud today. A great finish for Porter, but the best local performance of the afternoon would belong to Markel Ellison of Cleveland competing for the state long jump title. And this event would prove to be one of the closest, most exciting competitions in the state track meet. Ellison on his final jump of the day hits the board perfectly and hits pay dirt. His jump of 21 feet, nine and three quarters inches gives him the lead with one jumper left. And that jumper is freshman Jason Mershon of Cordova leaping and a good jump. Is it good enough to win? By a quarter of an inch, Mershon wins the state title jumping 21 feet, 10 inches. Ellison, a quarter inch shy of the state title. He would finish second. Since the last meet, I, that was my, first, my personal best of 21.9. I hadn't jumped it all year and then I felt good coming into this meet whenever I saw that I was doing pretty good, but I'm pretty disappointed that quarter of an inch. That's, it's heartbreaking, but I got another year. I'll be back. And with Bradley Central's Michael Porter being the only senior of the four competitors, you can rest assured that the names of Holloway, Tyree, and Ellison will once again be on the marquee next year at the Tennessee State Track Meet. And there's your Superior Sporting Goods graphic State High School track meet. Markel Ellison. And the Cleveland big monsters. The, the tanks jump. are coming to get the big monsters. Markel monster. missed by a quarter of an inch. Huh? Missed by a quarter of an inch. The first big monsters are going to break Garnett the Holloway, tanks. Garnett Holloway, Cleveland High School, fifth in the triple jump. 36 and three quarter. Sets a school record. Seventh in the 100 meter. Sixth in the long jump. And Michael Porter from Bradley Central High School, third in the triple jump. Lauren Tyree, notice it's an EEE, -E, not an OP, from Bradley Central High School, fourth in the 3,200 meter, eighth in the 1,600 meter. And Frisco is speaking and saying, let's get back to set. Here we are. Get back to set. Get back to set. Did you see the monsters in my tanks? These are my tanks, and these are the monsters. Your tanks these the are monsters. my tanks, and these are the monsters that are stepping all over my tanks. These are the tanks, and these are the monsters stepping all over my tanks. Does saying that drive you crazy? I already am. <laughs> this is what I like about these monsters in these tanks. It's fun all right, to play ladies, here we go. the monsters in the tanks. We're headed my, to some other big my, news. Cleveland my, High School athlete, huh? Brandon Cofer. You know what he did? I do know what he did. What did he do? He drove a tank. No. Can what you drive did? a tank? I can drive a tank. No. Watch. Now He pitched for Cleveland Raiders. Just signed. Let's take a look. He just signed our Speak package by Webb Wright. Here you go, Webb. Take off with Brandon Cofer. The Lee University Flames had a record-breaking season this year in only the program's fourth year of existence. The Flames set a school record with 30 wins this season, finishing with a 15-12 record in the Trans-South Conference. Now the Flames are looking to build for next season with a solid recruiting class, and they didn't have to look far from home to find a quality pitching prospect in Cleveland High School's Brandon Kofer. Now, obviously, with recruiting a guy like Brandon, who is a local kid, who we feel can definitely help our program, uh, we feel he's a quality pitcher. We feel how much he will help us in the next uh, you know, few years is going to kind of depend to him. But I would surely think by the time uh, of his sophomore year, and certainly by his junior year, he should be a major contributor uh, you know, to Lee University Baseball. Kofer went 7-4 and four last season with a 1.71 ERA and 61 innings of work, striking out 103 batters and pitching two no-hitters. Kofer says he picked Lee because they offered the complete package. It wasn't all about the, it wasn't all about the baseball. It's good academic school. Get to, anytime you get a chance to go to a four-year school, I mean, that's a big opportunity, and so that's what really got me. The opportunity to come to Lee and just, it's just a great school. Cleveland coach Ted Carson says he's sorry to see Kofer go, but is happy to see him heading to Lee. Brandon's done a real good job for us all year. He got us where we were at, and, uh, and it is good to see your players going further. And locally here, hopefully, we'll get to watch some games, and uh, I think he'll do a real good job for Lee. He comes pretty much with a whole package. He has uh, developed his fastball a little bit this year, and he's got a tremendous curveball. And the big thing about that, he can throw both pitches for strikes. I think if he mixes in and works on his changeup a little bit, 
uh, he'll be a more complete pitcher. But right now, he, he does a good job, and he does throw a lot of strikes with both pitches. And Kofer hopes to eventually find his way into the Flames' starting rotation by developing that changeup to go along with his fastball and curve. Well, early on, I had a, a real good, still have a real good curveball, but I had to have something else to go with that. So I started developing my fastball more. I got a couple of fastballs, a couple of different ones, and, and that really helped out. And I'm, the big thing I'm going to have to work on is a good changeup. I have a changeup. Didn't have to really, uh, really use it a lot in high school, but and able to be an effective pitcher in college, you're going to have to have a good change up. Meanwhile, Lee University coach Dave Altop feels that adding Kofer to the squad will add to the prestige of an already strong recruiting class. Right now, as of today, uh, Brandon represents the fifth kid that we've signed for next year. Now, obviously, the first thing is we had a lot of quality seniors to replace. Uh, we did have a, a, a large number of seniors this year, more seniors than I've ever had in any one year. 14 seniors overall with eight senior pitchers. Now, it's going to be, you know, we're not going to sign 14 players. Let's put that in. We've signed five. We're looking to sign probably three or four more. Our numbers were probably a little heavy. We do have uh, 14 kids. We actually have 18 kids coming back. We have 14 players that played this year plus four red shirts. So we feel like if we sign, you know, uh, six to eight kids, we'll be back up to about 26, 27 players where we want to be for next year. And, uh, yes, we still are pursuing some kids. Uh, uh, in, hope, in hopes of signing them over the next uh, two weeks. And as for Kofer, he hopes to see some of his teammates follow him to Lee. Uh, I don't really know anybody else that plays over here except Kevin Young, but uh, a couple people from our team is going to come over here. John Paul Birdshaw will come over here, and he's going to try to play, so that's good. And uh, hopefully we can get more and more over here from Cleveland High School coming to Lee. And we're back. Are we and how back? about Brandon Kofer? Great job this he year. He did a great rewarded job. Rewarded with it. Being he can drive a tank. Can He's a tank a driver. Tank? I can drive a tank. Two of them. I can drive two tanks. I got two tanks. Hey, tanks yeah. a lot. Ha. I can drive Were tanks. Were you out yesterday? Was I where? Were you out was, anywhere yesterday? Huh? No, I was in. I was in eating. I need to eat. I'm hungry. You got an apple? I need to eat something. something I've got to eat something. I haven't eaten. Why? You look. Don't, you don't look so good, Mike. You don't look so good. How's your neck? Well, How's your neck, Mike? How's your neck? ready to go to. How's your back? How's your neck? You're holding your the back? football awful tight there. I am holding the football. I brought the football back. Look, I brought the football. See the football? You got See, you I brought it back. Look at that. Perfect. Hey, you know, we, we kind of handed her off. Football? Yeah, we kind of handed her off. I can throw her now. Go for a long pass. No, we aren't I can throwing a football. I can yeah. go for No, no, no. Huh? I can Put throw good. Down. Put the football huh? down. I will calm him down. Animal I lovers, can throw the, don't worry. I can Animal throw. Lovers, we're going to break. He will be a, fine. a mile. I will take care of Fahim. I can throw like a Nerf ball. We're headed to commercial. I can Show throw the ball, Mike. It's a good football, but you're USA Mortgage is family owned and operated and has been in business for 14 years. Over the years, USA Mortgage has helped thousands of people achieve their dreams of owning a home in the Cleveland area. USA Mortgage offers a program for just about any situation. USA Mortgage offers FHA, VA, and conventional loans and also has great loans for self-employed borrowers and no down payment loans along with other unusual programs. USA Mortgage, located in the Colony Square on Keith Street, phone 478-3115. I guess I'll sit in the front of the tube again tonight. I'd love to take the family out. I just can't afford it before payday. Bring them to my place. I'm having some friends over to grill out. How can you afford that before payday? Every day is payday at Check Advance of Tennessee. It's easy. Just write them a check. You get paid today. They'll hold your check till next payday. I just called Check Advance of Tennessee. Tomorrow night, the party's at my house. Kids are our most valuable asset. That's why Cleveland Bank and Trust sponsors educational programs, including Lesson Line, a home-to-classroom telephone service to promote better communication between teachers, parents, and students. We also take great pride in our long-standing best partnership with Cleveland Middle School, making a positive difference for our children and our community. Cleveland Bank and Trust is part of your life all day, every day. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. 
Fred's Factory Warehouse, where the time saving, money saving, sanity saving store. Wash away your blues today at Appliance Factory Warehouse. Now is the time to take advantage of the best selection of Whirlpool washers and dryers ever. Whirlpool appliances, known for great quality, are priced to go at Appliance Factory Warehouse. Come in today and see the new energy efficient Whirlpool product line. Ask about special financing designed to fit your needs. Appliance Factory Warehouse, where the time saving, money saving, sanity saving store. Tank does a wheelie. Yeah, I am. Look at that. Eh. I'm hurting. Huh? You don't I'm look hurting. so good, Mike. I'm hurting. So your neck is hurt, and your back is hurt. Make, I might not. It hurts a lot. Thank you very much. Ah, ooh. I might not get back here. Huh? I'm, what not, is, I'm not gonna finish the show. You gotta finish the show, Mike. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I've got to. I'm, I'm here. here. I gotta find your doctor. Is your doctor Vinny Gubatz? Doctor Vinny Gubatz is a good man. Can he help out on this? He time? can help you. He can help you. Where were you yesterday? Is that hurt? Is that hurt up there? Because that's no. where he can help you. All right, let's go. Let we, me ask you a question. Yes, sir. So, so you did all this happen to you? This all happened to you yesterday? Yesterday. Where were wow, you? Wow, and you're here today. Where were you? I was, I, was, I was home. I was in my home. I was in my place where I eat and I sleep. I, I still thought I you were in there. asylum. Okay, listen. That's what I mean. This week's had a lot of rain. Had There's a lot, a lot of, of rain. things haven't been able to go on. A lot of rain. A lot rain. of baseball rained out. People are going through this Frisco, week trying to speak. make up double games. And guess what? BMX. Speak. BMX. Uh, we're going to make a little announcement. Look at this, Saturday, June 3rd, this coming Saturday, anyone, even you, Crazy Joe, can yeah, race. Yeah. You need a helmet, long pants, long shirt, 20 to 24 inch bike, uh, the phone number on there, 4790-444, and all proceeds to this go to the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society for research. Yeah. And this is anybody. You do not have to be registered with the American Bike Association. You and I can just go get in it. You gotta go in and register. I don't need a 10, helmet. 1030 Saturday. I don't need a morning. helmet. 10.30 to Saturday, you need a helmet. I don't need a helmet. I got a football. What do I need a helmet Go there. for? You, you know, I'll tell you what. What? Maybe. We're not going to promise the audience that maybe we'll get out there. We'll try to run in that. That, that would be fun. fun. That would be fun. 10.30 Saturday morning. I can get out. Support these BMX. Doing a great job. I can Bob get out King. and I can do that. So that'll be, that'll be outstanding. Speaking of outstanding. Yes, sir. Last night, Jonathan Cope has pitched three times. Kyle Clayton has pitched three Unbelievable he games. He sure has. He's pitched Mets a lot more than Reds. that, but did. You know, I was doing that parrot and all that. Reds beat the Mets. Right, well, right, they, right, they right. finally did, and it was just it, Mets. It was a joke, but it, you know, I don't feel the like Mets it were a joke. No, no, no. What? But Mets beat Mets beat us twice in a row. Kyle Clayton, outstanding pitching performances. Right. A third game that went on and on. Right. Kyle, outstanding pitching performance. Well, a lot of people don't know that Jonathan Cope this whole time has been doing outstanding himself, keeping Mets the, pitcher giving for your us game. a chance to win that. We won the game last night. He still kept us in the one-one ball game. Yeah. And only lost two to nothing in the other ballgame. He's ball a good game. pitcher. The guy's been kid. outstanding. And guess Real what? Good kid. Guess who our athlete of the week is in? Uh, Jonathan Cope. Let's see it. And once again, we want to thank Checking the Cash with Steve Scoggins, Alan Jones, and let's not forget Sandra Rowland, who really is in charge over there that we all know. Anyway, this is our athlete of the week standing right here beside me, and it is Jonathan Cope. And Jonathan has uh, had a great baseball season. He's pitched in three games that were big, crucial games against the Mets this year. He's pitched two one-hitters and a two-hitter. Last night, uh, won the ball game one to nothing. Jonathan also plays some basketball, but Jonathan, you're uh, on my team, and I've kind of hesitated to give you this. Maybe you should have had it a couple times. Kyle Clayton and you, uh, you have really hooked up and had some fantastic pitching matchups. Uh, how do you feel about what happened last night? Great. I mean, it's just awesome to beat them. Um, what do you think about Kyle Clayton? He's pretty good himself, isn't he? Yeah, he's got a hard fastball and an awesome curveball, so it's hard to beat him. Well, Jonathan, I tell you, you've, you, what you do well is place the ball, and you've done a very good job at that. You put it right where it needs to be, and, and maybe don't have some of the pitches that Kyle does, but you've got great control of your pitches. Is, who's, who's responsible for that? You kind of credit Wally for that more than anybody? Yeah. Because he's like worked with me a lot of times and just helped me with my form and control and it's worked out. Think a lot of him? Yeah. <laughs> okay, and Jonathan, you do also play some basketball at Waterville in the boys boys basketball league, the elementary league that they've got this year. Is that what are you gonna do? What do you like the most? Baseball. <laughs> Baseball. 
All right, well, Jonathan, fantastic job. He's deserved this credit maybe a little bit ahead of time on this, but he's on my team. You kind of hesitate to do that with one of your own uh, own kids that you coach, but Jonathan's well-deserved Athlete of the Week this week. Jonathan, your plaque is by Cooper's Trophies and Plaques is being made as we talk here. I don't have it, but I'll get it to you. I'll have plenty of time to see you in between. And I'm going to award you with a Sports Vision Athlete of the Week hat, which is only given to Sports Vision athletes, as you know. So I'm going to give you that hat. And then you say what? Thanks. Thanks, Sports Vision, for Thanks, making me Sport athlete. Vision, for making me Athlete of the Week. There you go. Still got to train these guys on their lines. All right, Jonathan, very good job, and we appreciate it. Thanks for showing up today. Ooh. Oh, gosh. My arm was hurting, and I'm Can't thinking if I do that, it'll make yours feel better, too, because you're hurt, aren't thinking. you? Hurt. Tell me, uh, you know, everybody out there watching, everybody's out there watching right now, and they're probably thinking, you know, what happened? What happened to Cragen? Why does he got that thing on his neck? Why is he wearing that thing on his neck? So tell everybody that's watching right now what happened to you, because I want to know what happened to you. Well, tell me what happened to you, because I know that something happened to you, and because you're sitting there with all that neck brace on, you're acting like you're hurt. So I want to know what happened to you. Tell me what happened to you. Is your mouth ever shut? Huh? Is your mouth ever shut? Huh? <laughs> oh, well, I, what happened is I got a call yesterday afternoon. Okay. We do a lot of challenges on the we show. We do. The guard, people out of the guard army, uh -huh. Sergeant Gumbu or Gambu or somebody yeah. called me up. The sergeant said, come huh? out here. We were going to go over there, and he was going to show me some of the official training tactics that they do, mm -hmm. maybe issue a challenge between some of his recruits and, right. and ourselves, you and I, the athletes that we are. Right. And so we were going to get a chance to demonstrate that, and I, and I got there. I start looking around. Nobody's where the, this area that I'm supposed to go to. Uh -huh. Nobody's there. I meet this one guy. He says, go on back and look. So I go on back. It was and Sergeant? Look. Was it the Sergeant you were talking about? And I go on back and look, and, and, I, and I believe it or not, and it, was, it wasn't this color. It was this color right here. Take a quick look. That color tank, I got run over by. Ah, got Why? run over by that tank. I believe, and I survived it. I got proof. Here, look. Uh, I got. Look at this is the jacket I was wearing. This is the jacket I was wearing. Oh, I'm, I'm Matter of fact, I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm, when I go, I'm gonna go up and show them the jacket here. Are you okay? I, Are you okay, Mike? I'm sorry you don't feel good. I gotta go lay down some. Yeah, I'm sorry. But I, I'm sorry you don't feel good, Mike. Man, you, you want me to finish the show? I do want you to want me to finish the show? Okay. I do want to okay. finish the show. If I can okay. Get my microphone off. If you can get it off, I can finish the show. If you can get your microphone off, I can finish the show. I can finish the show. I'm sorry you don't feel good. Why don't you go lay down, Mike? I actually did get run over. You did get run over, huh? Boy, that looks bad. Ooh, man, look at that. That's the jacket I was wearing. Yeah. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, that looks like that hurt. I'll see you. That hurt, Mike. Ah, all right, you go rest. Go rest, Mikey. Go rest, Michael Dennis Cragen. Hey, you know why he don't feel so good? I have a 124,000 pound reason why he don't feel so good. You watch this. I get him back. I get him back. Watch this. I went out there and I got myself. I got me. I got some milk. We're not I got some milk, okay. and I sat down and I laid down for a minute, and I I had a cookie. We're not that far from. And I feel you a little. A cookie. I did. I had a cookie. You know what? Huh? I think you're going crazy. Mike, I'm going to tell you. I I I, I think I'm feeling because you know that thing is driving me crazy. You're already going crazy. Listen. I'm telling you, you I tried to buy a dishwasher. I don't know if you know all this. I tried to buy a dishwasher. I saw her. I tried to get a hamburger at Glen Jean. I saw her. I, I, I went to get my back. I was hurt, and I got Rusty I Smith. Think, think you need anything? some help. She was there. I think you need some serious Mike, help. Mike, I'm seeing her. Yeah, I mean, we're about ready to close the thing. I think you need, to close. I think you need some serious ten help. Ten seconds. All right. Let's here. ten seconds to close. I guess that's going to close the show. Five, four, three. Oh my God, Mike! There she is, Mike. There she is, Mike! Joe, there she is! Hold on, hold I'm on. I'm seeing her everywhere! Calm down. I'm seeing her everywhere, Calm Mike! Down. I'm seeing her everywhere! Give me the ball! Give me the ball! Give me the ball! Give me the ball, Mike! Give me the ball! No, I'm seeing her everywhere! No, I'm seeing her everywhere! I got you, I'm seeing her everywhere, Mike! I'm seeing her everywhere! Here, take the ball! Take the ball, Mike! I'm seeing her everywhere! I'm seeing her everywhere! Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. To uh, leave I don't know what happened. I, go berserk. I don't know what happened there. You left me anyhow, and then the days got worse and worse, and now you see they finally caught him. He'll be in there for a long time. I won't have to worry about him. Look, this will become the Mike Show. Forget the Mike and Joe Show. This is Mike Show Sports Vision. Bye, Gally.
Had to call to come out here. I don't really see anybody. So can I help you? Yes, uh, my name's Mike Cragen. Sergeant Potts? Yes. Um, wasn't you, but someone called and asked me to come out here. Uh, Vinny or Louie or something, Goomba or something like that, uh, said that you were doing some special training exercises out here. Our sports show might be interested in taking a look at exactly what that was and maybe issue a challenge or something to my co-host and I do that sometimes on the show. Um, something oh, back over there by the, that tank over there. Just well, uh, no one's here by that name, but you're more than welcome to uh, walk back there and check it out. If somebody called up here, you're more than welcome to go back there. All right, well, I'm going to run back there real quick and just take a look around, if that's okay. That's fine with me. Go ahead. All right, thank you, sir. Nice thank to meet you. You too. Man, I don't know what he's talking about. There's some Goombots, Vinny, 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 Louie. See anybody doing anything around here? Hey, anybody here? Anybody here? Mr. Uh, Sergeant Goombot or Goomby or anybody here? Hey. Hello. Anybody in here? What's this thing doing right out here in the middle of nowhere? Hello. Hello. Anybody in here? Hello? Hello? Okay. Well. What the heck is that? Somebody in there? I'm getting away from that thing. Hey, who's there? Anybody in there? What the heck is going on here? Who is that? him back. Do you see the tank? How it ran over his back? Huh? See how it did that? I got him back. Now, now you're watching Sports Vision with Joe Palo each and every week. Next week, what do I got for you? I got BMX. I got softball. I got baseball. I got some football. I got anything you want. In fact, these are my new host, co-host. I've got Fajita. Come here, Frisco. Frisco. Come here, buddy. See, I got Fajita, which is the football, and I got Frisco, which is another football. Two footballs, two footballs, two footballs in one. I got two dogs now that are gonna be my co-host each and every week. This is Frisco, speak Frisco, speak Frisco. He don't wanna speak. And then I got this dog that is the football. See, you can see it's a football. Yeah, yeah. And I, oh, okay, well listen, let me tell you, I was just kidding, I'm really not crazy. I was, I know, I was just kid. I was doing that to get Mike back. Huh? But I was just trying to get Mike back. That's why I ran over him with the tank. I'm really not crazy. You think I'm crazy? I'm really not crazy, though. I, I'm really not. I, 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 but I'm really not that crazy. But let me, let me show you something. I was just kidding. I was trying to get him back. I mean, you guys really think I'm crazy? Come on. Let me, no, I'm not. Let me tell you what happened. I was trying to get him back because, see, what he did, you don't know what he did. Oh, you don't know what he did with his mother? See, Fajita knows. And what he did with his mother, he had his mother. I'm really not kidding you, though, is what I'm trying to tell you. Hey, come here, football. Let me have the football. Let me have the football. No, I'm, I'm really not kidding you. I'm, I'm really okay. I'm just, I was playing. I was getting hey, look, look. Look, look, look. We're going to be okay. Look, look. Do I look like I'm crazy? Do I look 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 crazy
something to do. I will pay him. Oh, I will pay him back. Hey, yeah. No, no. Can't hurt the football. I won't let Big Joe get you either. Yeah, you're cool with you. He belongs in the nut house. I don't know what happened to him. He belongs in the nut house. Yes. Hey. Where'd everybody go? Where's the cameraman? Where's, where's everybody at? Where's everybody at? Yeah. Where's everybody at? Yeah. Well, no, no, no. She's good dog. Good for me. Good for me. Good for me. Well, I'm getting out of here. Clean this mess up. Come on. Oh. Wash away your blues today at Appliance Factory Warehouse. Now is the time to take advantage of the best selection of Whirlpool washers and dryers ever. Whirlpool appliances, known for great quality, are priced to go at Appliance Factory Warehouse. Come in today and see the new energy-efficient Whirlpool product line. Ask about special financing designed to fit your needs. Appliance Factory Warehouse, where the time saving money, saving sanity, saving store. People from all walks of life have discovered that Check into Cash offers a simple solution to one of life's most difficult situations. It happens when an unexpected expense arises and it's just before payday. At Check into Cash, you write us a personal check and you get the cash you need instantly. We'll hold your check up to 14 days. You can be in and out within minutes. The next time you need quick cash for whatever reason, go to Check into Cash. It's quick, easy, and confidential. Call toll-free 1-877-262-CASH for a Check into Cash store near you. The employees of Duracell's three area facilities would like to give hearty congratulations to our three area high schools for excellence in academics and athletics. Charleston High School, Cleveland High School, and Bradley Central High School. Keep up the good work, students. We are proud of you. From your local Duracell facilities, Mouse Creek, Tasso, and the Corporate Distribution Center and Warehouse. At Duracell, our people are our energy. There's a bank in Bradley County that's made up of familiar faces, one that offers a wide array of services and the latest technology while providing an unusually high degree of personal attention. A bank that's consistently been ranked among the very best in the nation, one that isn't just a branch of some mega bank, but's locally owned. A bank that understands our community and takes the time to get to know its customers. Who is this bank? Bank of Cleveland, of course. It's the way banking should be. Quality Machining Services, located in Cleveland, services our local industries and businesses. Quality Machining employs skilled craftsmen. That is the key to Quality Machining's operation. Get your plant back up and running as quickly as possible with Quality Machining Services. You can count on quality because quality counts. Phone 472-0140. USA Mortgage is family owned and operated and has been in business for 14 years. Over the years, USA Mortgage has helped thousands of people achieve their dreams of owning a home in the Cleveland area. USA Mortgage offers a program for just about any situation. USA Mortgage offers FHA, VA, and conventional loans and also has great loans for self-employed borrowers and no down payment loans along with other unusual programs. USA Mortgage, located in the Colony Square on Keith Street, phone 478-3115.